and welcome back to another Seed of Melanin story time. Grab your snack and your book if you have it. Today we're going to be reading The Night Before Christmas, a Clement Seymour classic, retold by Nolan Nixon. Was the night before Christmas and through the whole house, no one was awake except Ben, my pet mouse. With the stockings hung by the chimney, all with care, they filled with hope that Santa would quickly be there. Little John and little Ruth, now snug in their beds, had thoughts of the newest tech frolic through their heads. As for Ma in her gown and me in my PJs, all tired and ready to sleep for a wintry days. Then out in the back, I heard a big, huge bang. So I got up to check it out as my ears rang. Made a break for the window, I jumped, then ran, moving the curtains with the swipe of my hand. The street lights shimmered off the pure and white snow, illuminating objects, sharing its glow. Then I saw it. I did with both of my eyes a slick red ride and ate reindeer that looked so fly. And driving? A man. He was old but had spunk. I can't believe it. That's Santa. Who would have thunk? He whistled and yelled, calling his reindeer by name. Now there was a lot, and they all sounded the same. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. They all knew their job and didn't skip a beat. And when they flew, I barely stood on my feet. But this wasn't over, then I heard a loud sound. It looked like St. Nick hadn't quite left my town. I heard hooves tapping and bells doing a jingle. Then out my chimney comes big old Kris Kringle. A big and red outfit that yes he did wear. Yet even with ashes, there wasn't a tear. A great bag on his back, full of nice toys, no doubt. When he opened it, I peeked and sure didn't pout. His eyes like the stars, twinkling so bright. Warm rosy cheeks, he was the definition of light. He was a very large guy, surely skipped no meals, and that white beard I was shocked and couldn't deal. He looked at me and I sheepishly looked back, nervous even though I knew he wouldn't attack. He was Santa and so he made my stockings full, then gave me a dap. Who knew Santa was that cool? A silent worker, he never spoke a word. Then poof, he vanished and whistled like a bird. Santa was gone, but as he flew out of sight, I heard him say, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Thanks again, friends, for joining us for another Seed of Melanin story time as we read The Night Before Christmas, written by Clement C. Moore and retold by Nolan Nixon. Maybe Santa will stop by your house the night before Christmas. See you again, friends. Bye-bye. Santa, I can't